Okay, Taylor Tudor here, recruiter at Etiwamba Community College, and we're gonna go through the admissions app together. So the first thing we wanna do is go to our apply website. So it's just apply.iccms.edu. And we'll click apply now if you have never been to this site before. If you already have an account, of course you would click sign in. So we'll go through this together all the way through and it typically should take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete everything. So we wanna put in an email address that we're able to have access to right now because we will have to verify our email. So make sure the email that you use is something that you can check at this very moment, whether it be on your phone or something that you can log into. And then for the username, you literally just create something that you want. It doesn't matter necessarily because it's just going to get changed once you get a new um, account with us. So let's do just go Indians 01 exclamation mark. It's got to be at least eight digits long, an uppercase, lowercase, a number, um, and it can't have anything to do with your name at all. Nothing that has the letters of your name necessarily in that order, anything like that. All right, now we're gonna click Let's Begin. Okay, so this is where we're gonna verify our email. So I'm going to go to my email. I'm gonna click on the big verify email. When this pops up, we'll go back to our admissions application and it will refresh to this page. This is not my actual address. Oh, heads up, the all caps is not your fault. It is gonna be in all caps, so don't sit there and try to pr press the caps lock button because it's not gonna go away. It defaults to Alabama, so you will have to change it to whatever state you're from. Put in your phone number. If you don't have a home phone number, you can leave it blank. Make sure you get the right year. Save and continue. On this part, if this comes up, you can um, just do like keep clean address. Um, that popped up and said that it was an actual address, but I said to keep it anyways. So this is about your family. So you would start with either your mom or your dad. So um, we'll start with and we'll do that. And we'll just say that's my dad. That's not my daddy's name. And I'm gonna make up an address here. Once again, all caps. Whoops, wrong one. So I'm going to put an emergency phone number in here. And then put one here. Okay, once again, I would do just keep this address. So here it says, which diploma type are you seeking? So you, um, if you're homeschool, you'll do homeschool. If you plan to graduate high school, you'll click high school. And if you do GED, you'll do high school equivalent. So I graduated from North Pontotoc, so I'm gonna go ahead and put North Pontotoc in here, if I can spell. And I'm gonna say that I'm still enrolled here because I'm filling this out as if I were in high school. So yes, I'm still a student. So the year that I graduate, I'm gonna do 2021 because that's the upcoming year.
and I'm gonna do May because that's when I would graduate typically you can do December if you graduate early and then um, or if you plan on graduating at the end of the year do May okay so if you've ever taken classes at classes at ICC before does not mean dual enrollment that means if you've been on our campus so I'm gonna hit no here I've never been to another college so I'm leaving that blank I'm gonna do fill out this information in regards to yourself So I plan to start in fall of 2021 because I'm saying that I'm filling this out as if I were a senior right now who plans to graduate in 2021 and then start school immediately after graduation in the fall. So will you be seeking a degree from ICC? Absolutely yes. If you plan to come here and graduate and do anything, you would click yes. So you can choose your major here. Obviously every single thing under the sun is not going to be listed here, so generally just put what you want to do if you don't know what you want to do you can go down to the bottom to the use and it will say undeclared and basically what that means is general studies um, this is not set in stone it can be changed at any time so don't freak out if what you're wanting to major in is not on here I'm definitely not putting in my real social can't steal my identity you guys okay I'm gonna hit get accepted I agree and understand and then it says waiting to be processed so in my email um, I will get an email that says so it'll tell me that it has been submitted it'll tell me what semester the next thing is do not quit here so what you want to do is make sure you stay on one on top of these emails because you'll get one after this that tells you that you've been conditionally accepted and it will also have your student ID number take a picture write it down take a mental picture know your student ID number because you will be asked for it many many times and then conditionally accepted only means that we're still lacking your high school transcript and your ACT scores but we don't need your high school transcript until you have completed high school and typically your high school counselor will send that to the admissions office for you all right, so let's go back to the admissions application because there's still some things that we can get done. So um, after this part, we wanna go ahead and apply for scholarships. So I click the button up here at the top that looks like the hamburger, and then I'm gonna click scholarships in the middle. So in the red, it says free application for federal student aid. That's what the FAFSA is. It opens October the 1st of your senior year and you can fill it out all online. It's a 45 minute process. We do offer help on our campus if you need help. But we're not gonna go through that today. So if you are from any of our five counties, we do have the County Guaranteed Tuition Program. Basically how that works is, is if you don't get any other scholarships or your scholarships don't cover the amount of tuition, then the county that you're from that we serve will pay it. So that includes Lee, Chickasaw, Monroe, Etiwamba, and Pontotoc counties. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the apply for county tuition, agree. And boom, it's that simple. Next is institutional scholarships. All that is, is ACT scholarships. So when we get your ACT score, we'll send you the scholarship that you're eligible for. So you have to have at least an 18 from us to get money, and then a 28 on the ACT is the presidential scholarship, and that will get you tuition, room, and board paid for. So let's click apply for scholarships. I agree. And boom, it is done. That simple. So send your ACT scores to us, and then we'll send back to you what you're eligible for. Um, because of the way that I filled out my application, I'm not eligible for the others. At the bottom here, it says foundation scholarships. Those are not open for the year that I applied for, but if they were, we would definitely want to read through those. They, um, it is a lot of reading, but it's definitely worth your time. They're very specific, so it could be someone has to be from Etiwamba County and major in education, or from Pontotoc County and wants to be a math teacher, something like that. So definitely read through those, apply to the ones that apply to you. And then after we have finished all the scholarships on our website, of course there are many more, but um, this is also not inclusive of any kind of 
um, athletic or competitive scholarships. So if you are wanting to do sports, if you're wanting to do band, center stage, um, dance line, the Palm Squad cheerleader, anything like that, those are not on this application here. Those can be found elsewhere, and you can find those also at iccms.edu slash scholarships, and they're all listed there. They all have different applications and requirements. So the next step after we've applied for admissions and applied for scholarships is housing. So we'll hit the hamburger up here in the top right, click housing, and we're gonna go ahead and apply for housing. It's first come, first serve, so you wanna apply as early as possible um, to guarantee a spot. So we'll go through here. So I definitely want to begin um, fall 2021. My preference is gonna be, um, we're gonna go with Sheffield first. So that one is um, up to three person dorm. It is located across the road from the student services building a little bit. Um, and you can have two or one or two room, roommates in this dorm. Next, is my preference is going to be Etiwamba Hall, and then we'll do Monroe Annex. Do I play a sport? No. If you do, hit yes. It does not um, necessarily matter in your placement for this. I have no health conditions, and I do. I'm going to say that I don't have a preferred roommate because I'm going to be open-minded to meeting new people. So at this point, I would fill out. Um, the applica finished application by paying for it. It is a $75 deposit, but it's 100% refundable if you change your mind. Um, it's nothing like having to jump through any kind of hoops to get your money back. If you change your mind, email housing, they'll refund your money. It's very simple. So housing um, assignments will not go out until around June, right the summer after you've graduated, right before you start school. They'll send those out via email and also through the mail. If you are put on a waiting list, they update the list every Thursday and it moves fairly quickly. Um, if you are put with someone that you, uh, if you put that you didn't have a preferred roommate, you don't know your roommate, and say after two weeks um, the room's not working out or the roommate isn't working out, you can easily have that switched over to a new roommate or to a new room. Housing is great to work with and they try to accommodate everybody the best that they can. All right, so now that we have applied for admissions, applied for scholarships, and applied for housing, that is all that we're gonna be able to apply for right now at this time. The next thing after this we would be looking forward to as a senior would be orientation, and we would sign up for that around February when that link goes live. If you have any questions, you can email us at go to iccms.edu or check out any information you might could find on our homepage at iccms.edu.